Hello everyone, I am Shalaka Desh Pandey and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in the previous lecture we studied about the various registers associated with the timer, TCON register, TMOD register. We started a topic timers in 8051. So I request you before directly jumping or before directly seeing these video, see the video timers in 8051 by Shalaka Desh Pandey. Okay, so that you can understand this better. Because there are a lot of bits which are involved in the TMOD and TCON register. And if you are uh, knowing what are the bits inside those register, then you can easily understand this. Okay. But if you don't understand what is TCON register, what is TMOD register, you will have difficulty in understanding this. Okay. This is the part 2 of timers. Okay. So let's get started with the timers in the uh, 8051. In the today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the mode 0 operation of timer. Now you see the timer operates in 4 modes. We have discussed it in previous lecture. Mode 0, mode 1, mode 2 and mode 3. Okay. So they operate in 4 modes. Okay. So we are going to study these modes in detail. So today's lecture, we are going to uh, discuss about the mode 0. Timer or counter 0 or timer counter 1 operating in the mode 0. This we are going to discuss today. Okay. Now, uh, why uh, the timers are important in 8051? Can you tell me? No problem. I will tell you. See this timers 0 or counter 0, timer 1, counter 1. These enable the 8051 to undertake the real time applications. Means you can use 8051 in the real time application. Okay, where timers and counters are in demand. Okay, for example, uh, pulse generation, counting of pulses, measurement of frequency, pulse width measurement, the baud rate generation. Now, what is a baud rate? See, when any external device wants to communicate with the microcontroller, uh, there is one transmission line and one reception line and data is transmitted and received via these. So how much data we are going to transmit, how much data we are going to receive, the quantity of data, the speed of data that is related with the baud rate generation. So these timers play very important role. So in today, let's discuss about the timer uh, counter 0 or timer counter 1 operation in the mode 0. Both the timer 0 and timer 1, both these timers can operate in the mode 0. Operation of both the timers is same in mode 0 and mode all the modes. Okay. You can um, operate timer 0, timer 1 in any mode from 0, 1, 2, 3 and both the timers operate similarly. Okay. So uh, without wasting much time, let's get started with this. Okay. You can see this diagram. Okay. This is the diagram of operation of a timer counter in mode 0. Now you can see uh, this is the machine cycle. Now why the machine cycle block is in included because timer increments according to the machine cycle. Remember this. Okay. And you can see these two uh, points. So C hash t equal to 0, C hash t equal to 1. It is a switch. Okay. It's like a switch. When the C hash t is equal to 0 means the timer counter 0 or timer counter 1 operates in the mode 0. Sorry, uh, operate as a timer. Okay, timer mode is selected. And when C hash t equal to 1, counter mode is selected. So this C hash t bit uh, decides whether timer counter is operating as a counter or it is uh, working as a timer. So when C hash t is 0, this timer 0 works as a timer. Okay, now here the selection is done. There is one more switch now which is uh, connected with the TR0, TR1. Now what is TR0? What is CHT? I have explained in the previous lecture where I have included the uh, descriptions of TCOD, TMOD and TCON register. Okay. So please watch that video. Okay. Now see this switch is connected to TR0 or TR1. Okay. TR0 or TR1. Okay. Now when TR0 for timer 0 or TR1 for timer 1, these two bits are 1, then that particular timer starts. Means if TR0 bit is 1, timer 0 will start. TR1 bit is 1, timer 1 will start. So when the switch is pressed or open, sorry, sorry, when the switch is open or pressed, that will decide whether this TR0, TR1 is whether 1 or 0. 
Now here you can see when uh, it is configured to work in the mode 0 when the timer and counter is configured to work in the mode 0 as a timer then what happens it acts as a 13 bit timer. Total timer is having 16 bits but out of those 16 bits only 13 bits are active in mode 0. So this act as a 13 bit timer okay now uh, you can see uh, there are 5 bits of TL0 and TL1 are used and the TH0, TH1 8 bits are used so it act as a 13 bit timer okay and uh, now next is when the timer uh, 0 or timer 1 rolls over now what is roll over I have explained in the previous lecture again it is a very important lecture if you want to understand this okay so uh, when the rollover happens, when the count reaches the last count, F, 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 H, and after rollover, uh, again when it is incremented by one, it reaches the initial count that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 H. Alright, that is a rollover. And when the rollover occurs in the timer 0 or timer 1 in this case, then TF0 or TF1, that is overflow flag is set, it becomes 1. When the rollover occurs, overflow becomes 1. TF0 for timer 0, TF1 for timer 1. Okay. And uh, after making the overflow flag 1, if interrupt is enabled and no other conditions block the interrupt, then interrupt is generated and it is vectored to the address triple zero bh So it is vectored to that address. Clear? And when the interrupt start executing, this is TF0 and TF1. Overflow flag is cleared. It is set to 0. It is cleared. Okay. Now, in this way, it is working. Now, uh, now the next thing is uh, how this block works. How What is happening inside this block? Now, what happens? When one machine cycle is there. When one machine cycle is... I'll, I'll just... Suppose... Uh, this TL0 and TL1, it is having 5 bits, right? So, out of 5 bits, only 2 bits are active and rest 3 bits are don't care bits. And the count range for timer 0 in the mode 0 is, I'll write down the range, 000H to 1FFFH. So, this is the count range. Okay, and this initial 00 and 1F, this is related with TL, lower timer bits. So, 0, 0 initially is stored in the lower bits of timer, which is, you can see this, lower two bits of timer. Okay. Now, suppose a TL0 is having the count 0, 0, H. This TL0 or TL1 is having the count 0, 0, H. After one machine cycle, the count will become 0, 1, H. Means it will increment by 1 timer lower lower bits of timer i'm talking about tl0 or tl1 lower bits of timer this will increment by one on the second machine cycle again it will increment by one and become 0 to h this goes on till it reaches 1 fh right now when this reaches 1 fh and when next machine cycle comes the rollover happens that is 1FH reaches the 00H. Okay, now rollover is happening and when this rollover happens, this TH0 is or TH1 is incremented by 1 and we have uh, 01H here. You getting my point? Clear? Is this clear? When the rollover in this timer, lower bits of timer occur, that is when it reaches from highest point to again 00H. This TH0, TH1, higher bits of timer, they worked in the 8-bit mode. It acts as an 8-bit counter and it is incremented by 1 when the rollover occurs. Again, the same process is repeated. 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 1 FH. Again, the rollover happens and it is incremented to 0, 2 H. So, in this way, when the rollover happens at the lower bits, this higher bits are incremented by 1. Okay, after rollover and when all the bits of timer 0 are uh, rollover, that is change from all 1s to all 0, that is when TH0 is FFH and TL0 rolls over from 1FH to 00H, 
इंटरप्ट इज जनरेटेड एंड वेन इंटरप्ट इज जनरेटेड इट इज वेक्टर टू द करस्पॉन्डिंग वेक्टर एड्रेस दैट इज ट्रिपल जीरो बी एच फॉर टाइमर जीरो एंड डबल जीरो वन बी फॉर टाइमर वन एंड देन अकॉर्डिंगली द प्रोसेस इज हैपन विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू जस्ट बिफोर सम टाइम ओके नाउ दिस वॉज अबाउट द ऑपरेशन ऑफ अ टाइमर काउंटर इन मोड जीरो Now what about mode one? Mode one operation is similar to mode zero operation. The only difference between mode one is that instead of thirteen bits, we are having all the sixteen bits. Rest everything is same. Okay, everything is same. Just in the place of thirteen bits, we are having sixteen bits. And count for mode one is from four zeros h to four f h. That is f f f f h. The count is different, बस बाकी सब एक जैसा है ठीक है Now let's see few instructions which are related with operating timer or programming of timer. Uh, just example of few instructions how to set the registers of timer, how to start the timer, how to clear the, stop the timer. Okay, so let's see the instructions related with the timer. First is move T mod comma hash binary data. When this binary data eighty one triple zero is eight, okay, and this all four zeros is zero. So when this binary data is stored in a T mod register, timer one and timer zero start acting in the mode zero are configured for mode zero operation. Whereas you can see gate for timer one is one. So now timer one is configured to operate in mode zero, but it is dependent on gate, okay. Getting control means external inputs into one for timer one and into zero for timer two. So when gate is one, it is dependent on the external interrupt. Okay, for its operation means external interrupt should also be one and TR one or TR zero should also be one. So it is advised for timer operation the getting control should be zero. Okay, now this was about the T mod. We have to load the T mod with this count. Timer mode control register. Okay, now next is the set bit TR one. Set bit TR one means uh, timer run control bit is set to one. Okay, and timer one is started. Now set bit TR zero means timer zero run control bit is set to one, and timer zero is started. Now clear TR one, CLR TR one means timer one run control bit is cleared. It is set to zero, and then it is stopped. Okay. The next is SGMP dollar. This is the infinite loop. This instruction SGMP dollar generates infinite loop means it jumps on the same address again and again and forms the infinite loop. Okay. So these are few instructions. Example of few instruction: how to start timer, how to stop timer, and how to uh, set the uh, registers inside the uh, timers. Okay. That is how to set the T mod register. You have seen. so in this way uh, we have completed the mode zero op uh, timer zero operation in the mode zero okay so if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section below i hope you like the video please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching and bye bye